What's going on, you guys? Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's doing well. I was going to go live, but I don't know. I just feel like ain't really too much to talk about that we haven't already talked about. But we here anyway, and you see the title of the video. Hit that like button for your boy. We on Bushido Boxing TV. This is where we going to be. But Blair the Flair Cobbs was on Broadway Joel. And salute to Broadway Joel, man. This dude is having a who's who on boxing come to his channel man go check out broadway joe right and blair the flair cops is on there and he said that he gets asked about the spence and crawford fight of course right broadway joe seems to be annoyed by the whole situation like many of us right like everybody seems to be pretty annoyed by how things are being played out with that fight right and yeah blair the flair cops has some things to say about the fight <laughs> you gotta love Blair Flair, man. He's gonna tell you straight how he feels. And he don't give a, what you think about it. But yeah, um, we've been talking about this quite a bit. And like I said, in 2023, we're gonna keep the pressure. 2023 is the year of weapons free, right? There's no no more ceasefire. 2022, Bushido, because we were being optimistic that this thing is going to happen and Errol Spence was talking right and he was somewhat moving right. But in 2023, we didn't regress back to what we was doing back in 2020, 2021. But yeah, Blair Flair Cobbs had this to say about the fight not happening. Boxing is full of cowards and I'm sick of it. I'm even sick of like the Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Your thoughts now, Who, who's at fault for the fight not happening? What's your thoughts? Well, who's, whose fault is it? Earl Spence, man, like it's just that simple. Like, what the hell? Look, you have you heard it. <laughs> Listen to what he about to say. And then, like Earl Spence, not wanting it to happen. I mean, it's plain as day to see. It is plain as a white sheet of paper to see. That this dude don't want it to happen, bro. He don't want it to happen. What happened after the Porter fight? Oh, he got up out of there before Crawford got his hand raised. So the announcers in the ring, ring announcers won't lull him to the ring. So the crowd won't push him to the front of the ring. Nah, he didn't want to do that. When, when Crawford was at the Danny Garcia fight, what did he do? Oh, well, I'm on my ranch and Doc Dallas mobbed him. Come on, bro. These are all facts. All documented. But like at the end of the day, like you are the fighter and you can make decisions and you can make decisions to fight the biggest fight that you will ever fucking fight. Nobody gives a fuck who else you fight. Wow. Spoken like a fan, really. I mean, this is how the fans feel. And a lot of us can relate to what Blair the Flair Cobbs is saying. Like, dude, Al Heyman, yeah, he's pulling your strings, right? Yeah, he's pulling the strings, but at the same time, you your own boss, right? This is stuff that came out of your mouth for years. I'm my own boss. I make my own decisions. He's under Bob Arum. He has his boss, blah, blah, blah. But you got a boss, too. And now Crawford don't got a boss. So who's really the boss? Right? Who's really the boss? It definitely ain't Errol Spence. Because he's hiding behind his boss, Al Heyman, now. Call Al. Call Al. Out the negotiations and signed another fight. It wasn't Errol Spence who pulled out the negotiations nah. and another fight. That's and that's all lies. Like Terrence, look, you gotta think about it like this. Why, like, they are fucking giving Terrence Crawford the most bullshit. <laughs> like, so much so that like it drags out for so long. And like this shouldn't be something that's so hard to do. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be so hard to fucking like it's like it's like um like they not only want like way more money but then they also want to withhold information too it's just it's just too much nonsense this is what i've been saying it's too much nonsense they knew once crawford left top rank they knew he's gonna be walking over there to pbc's door they even tried to prevent him from doing so by saying things oh well can I hand this right oh well he gotta know what he's worth and 
you know, they scratching their head as to what should we say when he comes over here? We don't want to disrespect the guy because, you know, telling him he's not worth this. And all this other crazy stuff, right? Yeah, we heard it all. So many different things. Instead of them saying, yes, come on over, Terrence. I'm glad he's left top rank. Let's make the biggest fight in boxing happen. Nah, they don't want it to happen. Whereas though, they're trying to, like, just break Terrence Crawford and bend him over backwards just for this fight. So he'll walk away with absolutely nothing at the end of this fight. And it's like, for what? Maybe it was a tactic. So they won't actually fight. So... Ain't this what I said? They stalled it out for this long just so they won't fight. They 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 drown it out for so long just so they won't fight. Cause they know Errol Spence ain't ready for this dude. They know he ain't ready. See Broadway Joel here. Go check out his video, right? Check out his channel. He looking like he don't agree with it, right? The look on his face is that of a man that's just not not really agreeing with this. However, these I was real. This is what's really happening. Just because it looks, just because on surface it looks like Crawford walked away because he pulled out negotiations, you got to ask yourself why did he pull out of negotiations after he did all of that to leave top rank to come over there in the first place? Spend months and months in negotiations going back and forth. We've been hearing so much stuff from so, so many insider guys, from guys on YouTube, from just guys like Mike Cappinger, from mainstream to the YouTube underground guy. We've been hearing so much different stuff going into that fight. And then out of nowhere, at the 12th hour, when he's pushing and closing in on November, Crawford had to make a decision. He heard what Floyd Mayweather came out and said, that this thing ain't happening to near the future. I'm Al Heyman. I'm Floyd Heyman, right? I'm an extension of Al Heyman. This fight ain't happening to the further in the future. Crawford said, all right, bet they want to play these games. I got a fight lined up already. They think they can try to stall me out, freeze me out. You know, nah, $10 million BLK Prime put it in front of me. Boom, let's do it, right? That was the but, but but by him doing that, that gave these guys the excuse of well, he pulled out of negotiations. Okay, but why did he pull out of negotiations after coming to the table in the first place? After all of that, after everything that's been going on for this fight for the past three or four years, why would he simply just walk away? Why? Because the PBC wasn't ready. Why? Because they probably don't got the money. Right? Espinosa would come out and say things. He said, oh, well, you know, I, everything didn't come my way. He was on the phone that little leaked audio. Why was the audio conversations getting leaked out? He was on the phone with Spence, right? They both didn't seem like they was, they was brainstorming. It seemed like they didn't even really know exactly what was going on with the fight. Errol Spence, like I said, should have been hands-on. And he, he could be partially, he could be at fault with this, right? Blair says it's his fault. Me, personally, I still blame Al Heyman for botching the fight. But I'm looking at Spence, too. Like, where was you at to make sure the fight got made, bro? He could just be like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Because now what it seems like is that, like, we have Earl Spence that's, like, trying to just wait it out. What are you waiting out? Are you waiting until he gets old? I feel like people are fucking cowards. Earl Spence this is a coward. He's so much of a coward. I'm just like, you know what? I'll fight you. Do you? <laughs> salute to blair man he don't care you know what i'm saying blair do not care he gonna say what's ever on his mind he, he just don't care right the errol spence is a coward right i'll fight the guy you know what i'm saying everybody's calling out errol spence anyway because they see a wounded puppy right but that's terrence crawford's prey that's supposed to be terrence crawford's meal and Errol Spence is running. He still got a little bit of energy left. He still got some people that's helping him stay away from the fight. That's just what it looks like. I, hey, look. All right. This is what it looks like. He hasn't said nothing in rebuttal to Crawford's last tweets. Like, look, man, I thought you were spinning the block. And, and, and if you think, if, if y'all feeling really froggy, if y'all really think I've really ran away from this fight, let's make negotiations go public this time. So everybody can know exactly what's going on. Quiet. Radio silence. <laughs> Can't hear, didn't hear nothing. But we go see what happens. Keith Thurman is the fight that's coming up for Errol Spence Jr. Um, Blair the Flair said, you go fight somebody. People don't really care to see you fight. Yeah, man, we want to see him fight Terrence Crawford, bro. I agree with Blair the Flair. I agree with Blair the Flair in this one. Yeah. You got to ask yourself, why did Crawford lead the negotiations? 
after doing all of that to come to the table in the first place you know but yeah man happy sunday everybody was gonna go live today but i figured you know what let me just do a regular video because youtube be playing too many games with the live streams and it really not much to talk about beefy smell upset chris eubanks jr you know how much we go talk about and that when we gotta wait to see how that rematch goes but bloody flare cop said that errol spence is a coward and he's a reason why the spence Crawford fight didn't happen tell me what you guys think like subscribe how your boy peace out